Are we recording? I think we are. All right, different video than I expected to make today. <laughs> I actually went out with um, the GoPro on the helmet and drove out to the coast over here in Titusville, originally with the intent of making a video with a KLR, like an, <clears throat> an on the road video, just showing the bike, you know. But, change of plans. <laughs> Once I got there, um, I'll turn it around. There's a bunch of gravel roads, and on one of the curves I was making, I'm still not sure what exactly happened. If the bike has ABS, so it's not the brakes aren't supposed to lock up, but that's what happened because <laughs> it was a gravel road. Um, I was doing a corner. I'm not sure on my speed to be honest. It wasn't too fast or not slow, not fast, but making a corner basically the back slid out from under me. Um and I went down. The first bike ever I have gone down on. I know that sounds dirty, I know, but um not in the good way. Went down, uh scratched. Thankfully I'm okay. I'm like just banged up a little bit. Um but yeah, let's go over what you can expect <laughs> if you go down in a stock KLR 650 Adventure with no crash guard on it. Um, so thankfully, with the stock side cases, it does come with this guard here. So this is all scratched up. Um, we got some scratches on the wrist guard, uh, the LED light scratched up pretty good, front fender scratched, and then we got some scratches on the side, uh, sorry, the side panel. But I guess it just has some battle wounds now. A little scratch right there too. Uh, these mirrors, I'm not worried about that. This is Amazon. All oh, that's fine. So all in all, it's pretty minimal, um, except for this is this guardrail down here is scratched up pretty good. So if you were wondering how the stock tires do <laughs> in gravel, um, my personal experience as of today is they are complete shit. <laughs> but to be fair, I couldn't give you a review of any other tire if it would have done the same thing or not. <sighs> but um, yeah, that was the original plan was to do a high quality video with different camera angles showing off the bike. I had the GoPro with me. I had my other camera with me and a small little tripod. I had big plans today, <laughs> but it didn't exactly pan out. But yeah, so this is the KLR as of now. Just a little scratched up. Um, I'm gonna try to wash it really good and it should get rid of more of, you know, what's left over in the, the dust from the gravel and some of these scratches. So it should kind of clean it up a little bit, make it not as noticeable. It was funny, when I was on the way home from the coast, I stopped at the old grocery store over here and uh, as I was putting everything away in the trunk, this guy just, you know, like, like when he was getting there, he pulled up next to me and he's like, oh, looks like you just crashed it. <laughs> I was like, oh, how can you tell? <laughs> not like, I was starting to bleed through my pants or anything. So that was awesome, walking through the grocery store with blood coming through my pants. And it's like, what have you been through today, boy? <laughs> so yeah. So that's the KLR. Um, the stock tires, answer your question. I think I have. Not that, not that great on gravel. <laughs> on the roadways and the highway, they're okay. I mean... The whole bike rattles like crazy when you're around 70 miles an hour. Um, people have been asking too about the stock seat. 
I've learned to live with it for now. Um, I actually have a pair of padding, uh, sorry, padded uh, bicycling shorts that I've had. So there's like a gel pad in there for to keep your ass comfy. So I've been wearing those under my pants when I ride, and that makes a world of difference. Because if you have one of these, you know the stock seat. Oh my god. People are like, oh, you'll get used to it. Just keep riding it. You'll get accustomed to it. It'll be fine. Those people are fucking crazy because that is uncomfy as shit. <laughs> I don't really know. I just want to make a quick little video showing this today because um, my original video obviously didn't happen. And might as well record it while it's fresh, right? So I'll probably still do one of those videos with all the angles, but... I got some battle scars. Figured I'd make this video that way. When you watch a future one, you're like, "Oh, you dropped it." Yeah, this this is the video explaining what happened with that. So, yeah, 24 KLR. Got some battle scars, and I still love it. It's a lot of fun. And uh, yeah, I guess that's all for now. I don't know if any other updates with this thing, but I'm okay. The bike is okay. Just a little bit of. A little bit of scratches. We'll go to the store and get some Sesame Street Band-Aids, and uh, she'll be good as new. So thanks for watching, and uh, we'll see you on the next KLR video. <laughs> Thank you.